friends, today we're doing this rainbow cheetah design asymmetrical style. Thank you for tuning in to I Paint You by Brie. And this is me, Brie, talking to you and being stupid and dancing. Um, yeah, the first step of this face paint is to do a little dance. We're gonna be using the Neon Rainbow Split Cake by Silly Farm. And there's just a split sponge. I bought the cheapest ones off of sillyfarm.com. And then just going up and down there on that, that split cake, I gravitate towards the pink more because usually girls like this face paint and the pink is really pretty, but I always try and get a little bit of purple there on the tip also. All right, so starting the corner of the eye on one side, I'm just gonna start laying down some pigment on the eye. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Even though it's an asymmetrical design, you wanna have a little bit of consistency. So for me, that's having that blue right there on the eyelid and then having the brighter, or the spectrum go up into the forehead, all right? So the, the one side is gonna be nice and long and it's gonna loop around kind of like a half circle. So that's what I'm doing there on that right side of my face. All right, I become like this little stippling machine with my hand. It's like a, a quick tremor, but it helps to just really lay down that color evenly and quickly. And it helps to kind of think of your hand like a machine, like a sewing machine. Just getting more color in there, no bald spots. sponge now upside down using that blue right in the bottom of my eye okay again consistency so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side for that exact reason of just being consistent I'm switching to my low Cornell number four with some black so I use Wolf black and white for all of my line work and I actually started using the tray on the bottom. I didn't know what it was for for the longest time. Um, and I put a nice big dollop of, of face paint in there from the, from the main container. And then um, I'll clear it out every two weeks or so and sanitize it. You can see it's all dirty in there and that is all glitter. Like my glitter gets everywhere. It gets in my paint and everything. So this way I can like just really clean it out every two weeks and it makes it a lot easier. I prefer it for sure. Um, so making those cheetah dots, you're gonna go make little half circles, pressing down in the middle and then pulling them up really slightly. So again, a little circle, little circles or half circles, I would say even imagine that full circle, just don't complete it, don't complete it all the way. So going around and you wanna vary the, the um, thickness of your lines so it's thick in the middle and it's really, really thin on, on the outsides and the little tips. Um, and that's that's what makes it look like that cheetah print design, okay? So you want to practice this. If you haven't really practiced the, the cheetah prints, this is a really great thing for you to practice on paper um, too. You can practice on paper before you bring it over to your face and just go in around. And I did speed up the video, so I'm not actually going this fast. Um, when I'm when I'm doing them, so don't freak out. Take your time. Take a deep breath. I just didn't want this video to be over 10 minutes. And then fill in the little extra spaces with dots. So you know, same color. Make sure there's enough black on there. And just putting some little dots in. You can vary the sizes of them. I would definitely suggest that by pressing down a little harder. You can get you can get bigger dots if by barely touching the skin you'll get little dots all right spreading them out see how nice that that makes that design look so I'm getting some more black and um, I'm going to go to the corner of the eye that is a little bit a little smaller there a little smaller design and flip it around and make a little curly cue and then three little teardrops in the corner I didn't like the the way that I curly cue looked so I added an extra line and then it was okay for me for some reason. Then I'm going to the corner of the other eye. I'm gonna make three little teardrops there. They look like little tadpoles, tadpoles swimming down my face. And then three dots in the corner of the other eye. This is a 
asymmetrical after all. And guess what? I can read your mind. Yes, I can. I know that you're thinking it would be so cool if there are rainbow lips. And I, I agree with you completely. So I'm going to teach you how to make rainbow lips. We're using a 3 4 inch brush and I'm using um, the, this is a tag neon rainbow one stroke. So the, the neon rainbow one stroke is kind of tricky. You have to really get your colors activated. So it takes a lot to, to go up and down that one stroke many times. Um, also, there isn't any white in neon color, so they're kind of translucent. So you really want to get lots of color on the brush, okay? Starting on the lip, I'm going to go on one side and just make make one stroke and then flip it over. So it's, it is symmetrical on the lips, okay? Um, so you have those two symmetrical lines and then going to the top lip, you're gonna do the same thing as, it's, as if it's mirrored from the bottom up, okay? So it's mirrored from the bottom up and then it's mirrored from one side to the other if you were to cut the lips in half completely. Don't cut my lips in half, that would hurt. All right, and continue it all the way to the corner of the mouth. I have to really like stretch my lips and smile to be able to do this. And while the paint is wet, you can just pick up little extra little, little bits of paint that are on the outside with your finger. I added some glitter, of course, because glitter is awesome. And while face paint is wet, it's an excellent opportunity to add some glitter, especially if you're in between steps. And that's what the whole design looks like so far. It really adds a lot to have those lips done. So I'm switching back to my black brush with some um, little dots there. I'm starting with my big dots in the middle and then kind of trickling off into little dots in the corners. I felt like it definitely needed something else, so I added a few little cheetah, cheetah prints dots also on the top and the bottom. It was hard to do these because they were really small, but if you can imagine that you're painting with a delicate little feather, it makes it easier. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please like and subscribe to this video. Happy face painting. Many blessings to you and your artistic ventures. And I will be posting more tutorials coming up soon. So stay tuned to my channel. I paint you by Brie. Bye.